Okay, here uh, this is the Center for Social Studies in uh, Giza, Egypt. Um, it's a center run by uh, socialists and its aim is to disseminate uh, information about the labor movement and to host events uh, about the labor movement or about the movement for political change here in Egypt. <laughs> لانه انت بتعدم كل اللي موجود ده لصالح المبتكرين الكبار اللي هم هيجيبوا المكان الجديد. ما هي تقدر تمشي واخد خبرة حضرتك؟ لان مصالحها بتجبرها انها تمثل برمجيات خاصه وبالتجاره. وبضربنا وكده بالحروب وبالفلاحين والعمال و... فالمبادرات الصغيره مش مشكله انت انا بقول. From 2000 onwards, uh, the uh, the pro-Palestinian and the anti-war movement was constituted mainly of students, of uh, professionals, of uh, I mean doctors, pharmacists, uh, uh, engineers, so we're talking about middle-class professionals, but comes 2006 and this was like a turning point in our political arena and that's when the Mahalla workers uh, in the Nile Delta went on strike in the biggest textile mill uh, in the region uh, which is home to 27,000 workers. When they went on strike then they launched the biggest, the strongest and the most sustained wave of industrial action since the end of the Second World War. Now, the link between the current industrial action and between the anti-war movement, you know, I mean before that, and the pro-Palestinian movement, it's indirect, but it exists. Workers for years have been just looking at the images, you know, reading the newspapers about demonstrations, watching Al Jazeera, which was broadcasting images of both the Palestinians in the West Bank and Gaza and the Egyptians in downtown Cairo and the other urban centers who were campaigning against Mubarak. And in the same way that when people read about some event or some action and they get inspired and it touches, you know, I mean, something in their psyche, the same happened also with the working class. I mean, it would be criminal by anybody to claim credit for the current wave of action. I mean, this is the Egyptian workers on their own fighting back. Does that mean that the left is not intervening in some struggles? No, of course the left is intervening. But again, the, the, the strike wave is largely independent of the political parties that exist in Egypt, which on the one hand it's good because the majority of the parties I mean, do not have socialist uh, agenda, but at the same time it's bad for the radical left. This means it's a challenge upon us that we have to confront, is that we have to build and we have to create for ourselves roots among the working class. We have to bring together the strike leaders in Mahalla, in Luan, in Alexandria, in Asyut, in Minya, in the 29 provinces we have in Egypt. They have to be pulled in together, you know, sit together in the same room, you know, chat about their own experiences and exchange experiences, uh, try to coordinate their actions, you know, in the future. And being part of the movement at the moment and following up on what's going on, I can assure you that I am very, very optimistic about the prospects.